Welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach from electricalexamcoach.com. And in this video, we're going to teach you how to beat your exam. So if you've never taken it, you've taken it once and failed, or you've taken it five times and gotten almost the same score, this video is for you. This video is sponsored by StackMax. We're going to learn more about them at the end of the video. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will help add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it. It's finally testing day. You've gone through all the paces. You've got your books ready. You've went through everything on electricalexamcoach.com five times, and you're finally ready to go take your test. When you get to the testing center, on your way in, they shake you down like you're trying to go visit someone in prison. You finally get set down, you get the computer set up, and then all of a sudden your screen does this. And it seems like everything that you've studied and everything that you know flies out of your mind, your stress shoots through the roof, you're panicking, and you don't know what to do. My friends, I wish I could tell you that it's your fault, but in fact, you are fighting an algorithm. And when I say you're fighting an algorithm, I mean it. They have this massive bank of questions and they know exactly how many times someone gets a question wrong so they can load you with specific types of questions. They know all of your previous data. So if you've taken it multiple times, you'll find that often you'll get the same tough, challenging, exact questions again. You are fighting an algorithm. If it were just you and a piece of paper and what you know, it would be a totally different battle. But since it's not, we don't have to be smarter than everything else. We've just got to be smarter than what we're working with. And I'm going to show you the steps that you use for taking this exam and passing it. Step number one. Anytime you come to a question and it looks like Chinese, I want you to select one of the four answers. I want you to mark it. And then I want you to skip it completely. Because the reason is if they can get your stress raised and your cortisol high, then they've got you. If they can get you knocked off your horse or second guessing yourself, they've got you already. So if you come to it and it looks foreign, I want you to select one of the four answers. I want you to mark it and you'll be able to come to it later. And I want you to completely move on and spend zero time on it. Step number two. Then when you come to a question that you feel like you do know, I want you to spend two to five minutes on it and work hard trying to find it. At five minutes, if you're hot on its trail, go ahead and finish finding it. But if not, I want you to select one of the four answers, I want you to mark it, and I want you to move on. The reason we always select one of the four answers is just in case you don't have time to come back to it. You have a one out of four shot of getting it correct just by guessing, and it's better than leaving nothing at all. Remember, if you leave it blank, you will get it wrong no matter what. Step number three. Then once you've gone through all the ones that you feel like you know you've got, don't mark those ones, leave those ones unmarked. Now this is one of the most important pieces. After all of that, you're going to be allowed to go back and look at all of your marked questions. When you come to your marked questions, I want you to skip again the ones that look like Chinese. Spend zero time on them. Leave one of the four answers selected and just move on. Spend your time working on the ones that you really feel like you can get. As you find them, unmark them, and that way it comes out of your marked questions. Once you've gone through all the ones that you feel like you can find or you're just done with the question, I want you to step number four. Then go over every single question on the exam. We're not going to go back and look at those foreign ones until the very end. And the reason that I want you to go over the entire exam is because sometimes you'll misread the question and it'll look like it'll say grounded, but it says grounding. Or you'll accidentally select one of the wrong four answers, right? You'll, you'll, act, you'll be excited, you got the right answer, but you accidentally click one of the wrong four choices. And the people who don't go back over the whole exam are the same people that will get like a 73 five times in a row. And they need one more question to pass the test, but they're not doing the process. Step number four. Then once you've gone over every single question on the exam again, rereading them all and making sure you've selected the right answer, if you've got any time left, then you go back and work on the ones that look really foreign. And the reason that this is the strategy is because even if you miss those six or seven foreign questions, but got all of the other ones right, you're going to pass the test. And the whole point is, is that if you get knocked off your horse, they know that they've got you. 
If they can get you stressed out, worried, or doubting yourself, you might as well forget it altogether. But if you'll use this strategy, you won't get caught in that trap. The trap of questions that are just strange, they may not even have the right answer, or it's just some arbitrary question that you may not be able to find inside the book that you have. With that being said, if you will follow these steps, you will succeed. But it doesn't matter how good a strategy we have, if we don't do the stuff, the videos, the quizzes, and all the prep, we're never going to pass our test. And there's no guarantee that you'll pass it your first try. And listen, don't get in that business. I know so many people that have said, I'm going to pass it first try. I'm not going to take it more than twice. Listen, you're setting yourself up for failure. If it was just you, your might, your will, and a test, I would say go for it. But it's not. You are fighting a company, a company that's interested in selling you test. That is their business. So don't put any stress on yourself. People call me all the time and they say, coach, I'm about to go in. You know, what's some last minute advice? And I give the same advice every single time. Don't sweat it. Don't worry about it. You've put in the work. You've done the stuff. Go see where you're at and then come back out swinging. The only way that you lose is if you quit. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and I'm very thankful for the sponsor of this video. It's Stack Max. If you've not seen Stack Max, you are missing out. I've pulled thousands of feet of wire, and it's always a struggle. And keeping it in the van is a mess. But watch this now. Stack Max has not only solved the wire pulling solution, but also the storage solution for all these different racks of wire. Check out stackmax.com. Use the coupon code COACH to save 10%. I highly recommend this product. Super excited about our partnership and their sponsorship. Check out stackmax.com. Let's get to it. Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach from electricalexamcoach.com. Let's get 